take a look at converting between metric units. Conversion between metric units only requires us to remember the layout of the various prefixes on the units. And if we can convert the units of length or the units of capacity or the units of mass, we can convert any of the units just based on what we see in this table here. Everything in the metric system is based on powers of 10. So each movement here when we convert between the metric units it's just a matter of moving the decimal because of those powers of 10 and each place that we move in our table up here will be just one movement of the decimal so let's just take a look at this first one 350 centimeters we want to convert that to meters well centimeters is right here and we're going to meters that's two jumps one two now this table should actually really be in the other direction because two jumps in this direction means we move the decimal that many spots in the opposite direction so if we're going this way on the table our decimal point is going to go that way okay and and vice versa if we're moving this way on the table our decimal point is going to go that way so centa to meters we go one two so we're going to take our decimal point which is right here in the centimeters and we go one two spots to the left so we get 3.5 meters and if we think about it it makes sense a meter is approximately a yard and there's a hundred centimeters in each meter so 350 of those would make us 3.5 meters. Let's take a look at this one. 524.2 grams. We're going to change that to kilograms. Well, grams are in the middle here. We're going to kilograms. So we go one, two, three hops. And since we're moving this way on the table, our decimal is going to move to the left because we're changing a smaller unit into a larger unit. So we go one, two, three spots, and we get. All right, pardon the interruption there. Holy cow. All right, from grams to kilograms, we're going three spots, and we end up with 5.242 kilograms. And that makes sense again because this is a small amount of kilograms for a larger amount of grams, and kilograms are a larger unit. Let's take a look at this one. 2,534.5 milliliters, and we want to change that to liters. Milliliters is over here, and we want to go to liters, which is right there. We go one, two, three jumps, and we're going from a smaller unit to a larger one, so we're going to move the decimal to the left, three spots. So we go one, two, three, and we hit get 2.5 three four five liters again it makes sense because we have less and this is a larger unit last one here we're going from meters to centimeters meters is here centimeters is over here we're going one two spots so we're going from a larger unit to a smaller one that's going to take us to the right we go one two spots to the right we get five hundred and thirty centimeters. So again converting in metric units is much easier because we don't have to remember different conversions for all the different units. It's a consistent power of 10. Each jump if we can remember this table there's just the six um, prefixes along with the unit spot. If we can remember those and we know just count up the jumps and then we move the decimal that many places and there's our conversion.